In this tutorial, what I'm going to do is to show you how to use GraphPad to interpolate a standard curve by using an example of an ELISA assay. So with GraphPad open, I'm going to select the XY table and graph type, and then under Y, I'm going to select the option that says enter and plot a single Y value for each point, and then I'm going to click the Create button. So I'm just going to go to Microsoft Excel where my data for this example is stored. I'm just going to briefly talk you through this. So what I have on the left hand side are my samples and the first seven are the standards with the highest concentration at the top and the lowest concentration at the bottom. And this example was an ELISA assay. So obviously I know the concentration of my standards and I measured their absorbance, which is what this column represents. And you'll also notice that this is the background corrected absorbance. So I've already taken away my background signal from all of my wells. And then underneath this, I have my samples and their absorbance values. So what I'm going to do is just copy all of this and I'm going to go to GraphPad and paste this into the data sheet. In the title columns area, you can enter your sample names. So my standards, I've just done S1 to S7. And then after this are all my samples. For the X values, these are the known concentrations. So I'm going to type in concentration. And this is in picograms per milliliter. Under group A, for the Y values, these are the absorbance values. At 450 nanometers. Now notice that the samples at the minute don't have any concentrations in them. The aim of this video is to interpolate the standard curve using our known values to get our concentrations for our unknowns, which are these here. Now to interpolate a standard curve in GraphPad, what you want to do when you have the data sheet open is under the analysis ribbon, you see this interpolate a standard curve option and you want to click this. So a new window will now open. The first thing you need to do is to tell GraphPad what type of standard curve you have. So what is the relationship between the known concentrations and the absorbance values for your standard curve? So for example, is it a straight line or is it something that requires a sigmoidal curve? If you're not sure about the patterns of each of these, what you can do is select one and then click the details button. And this will open up a representation of what the relationship should look like. So this case is a linear curve. Now I know for my example, I know mine curves, so it's not necessarily a straight line. It's more a hyperbola relationship. Now this is where the X values are the concentrations. So if I click the details button, this is the kind of relationship my standard curve represents. So this is the one that I'm going to use. So I'm going to click hyperbola, and then what I'm going to do is untick the plot curve with 95% confidence band. Basically, GraphPad will give you a graph for your standard curve. And if you leave this ticked, it will then give you the 95% confidence intervals. But I don't want to report this. An important thing that we need to make sure that we are ticking is the report each interpolated value with its 95% confidence interval. So this means GraphPad will return the concentrations for our unknown samples based on our standard curve. And with that, you want to click OK. And you'll notice there's now a new results sheet that has been open. What we're looking at here are our different samples and the X values are the concentrations that were calculated by GraphPad by interpolating that standard curve. You also have the 95% confidence intervals for each of these samples and the Y values were the known absorbance values that we entered. And then if you go to the graphs sheet that's been created, you'll see that my standard curve follows the hyperbola relationship quite well. You'll also find another table of results sheet underneath your interpolated values, which will give you more information about your standard curve, for example, your R squared value. So that is how you can use GraphPad to interpolate a standard curve to calculate the concentrations from known absorbance values.